Yo, what's up? I got another great question today on the website from Smooth 59 What's up, J Smooth? That used to be my nickname, J Smooth, when I was younger. Anyway, his game, his uh, question is, what's a good pre-game meal? That's an outstanding question, and obviously there's a generic answer to that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you that. You know, you could eat healthy and, and eat light and you know, uh, you know the answer to that already. But more specifically, I think that you need to know how your body responds to certain things. So I'm going to offer you an example of what I used to do before my starts and before my appearances um, as far as eating goes. So, But it is a great thing and if you do it properly, if you eat properly before a game, and I'm not just talking about right before a game, I'm talking about the morning before and the night before you can definitely have a lot more energy going into that game. So that's a great question. What I used to eat was chicken par I used to like to have chicken parmesan um, the night before. Uh, a little bit because of the pasta. You know, the pasta would give me, the carbohydrates would give me energy for the next day. Um, and also a little bit superstitious. And I love chicken parmesan. So I would eat that, the chicken parmesan with the, uh, with the spaghetti. Um, and the red sauce and, and that just worked for me and, and like I said it might have been a little superstitious as well but I always felt good the next day after I ate that. The next morning I would try to eat light, uh, a lot lighter than I usually do in the mornings. Um, you know I would have maybe a, a bowl of cereal with a little bit of meat, a little bit of protein and maybe a little bit of fruit um, and I would try to let that hold me over until my pregame meal which what I was doing for a long time which uh, might be a little bit crazy, but I was getting those Slim Fast bars, and I would put a little bit of chocolate on top, like a little square of Hershey's um, chocolate on top, just to give me uh, a little bit of sweetness on there, and I would eat that together, um, and I would put a little bit of peanut butter on there too, not a whole bunch, just a little bit of peanut butter, um, and then I would get a little bit of fruit, like a little cup of fruit, I would eat that, and then I would eat a little bit of vegetables as well, some celery or some carrots and, and have a little bit of dip, but just real, real light. And then I would drink about a half a, uh, half a cup of um, energy drink. I, I always drank the Rockstar, but I try to stay light on that because if, if you drink a whole thing of that, you might get a little bit too geeked up and be out of control, you know, shaking a little bit. But obviously those are unhealthy for you. Uh, that's just what I did. Like I said, it's an example. You've got to find out what works for your body. And that, to me, always felt like it was it gave me a, a lot of pure energy I don't know if that's the right answer it's definitely not the generic answer is that's just what worked for me um, afterwards I would always eat uh, a lot of protein and a lot of vegetables after the game um, a great post game food is broccoli so I would always get like a steak with some some broccoli on the side because broccoli is an anti inflammatory and if you just pitch the whole game your shoulder and your elbow and a bunch of other muscles are probably going to be inflamed so any kind of anti-inflammatory you can get in there is, is probably going to help a little bit so anyway that's what worked for me that's a great question uh, I guess my answer would be to find out what works for you if you found this video helpful please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.